Hi guys, welcome to Thinking Home Staging, where we talk about all things home staging and design. I am Mona, your luxury home specialist, and if you are new here, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. If you hear a little noise in the background, because my daughter has a cat and I'm cat sitting, so that's Luca. Yes, she named Luca. In today's video, we're going to talk about how to change up your space for cheap. You can always make it look luxury, but still change it up for cheap. So this is some, these are some pretty simple ideas of how to do that inexpensively. So let's get into it. I feel like this kind of goes without saying, but I have said it and I'll say it again. Repaint your space. That is something that you don't really think it will make a huge difference until you actually do it. Sometimes you're like, oh, it's still in the same, I still have the same stuff in there. But then when you paint, it's just like, huh, this room feels fresher, it feels newer, it feels cozier, it feels more open, depending on the color of paint you get, obviously. So repaint your space and see what a big difference that will make. When you switch a rug from, let's just say, a larger rug to a smaller rug, it draws your eye in towards that area because it creates a space. It blocks off that area, area or rug. It blocks off that area so that you feel as though where your rug is, this is the space that is intentional and it makes the room feel bigger. Now, if you're moving from a smaller rug to a larger size rug, then the room will feel surprisingly smaller. Mark my words, the smaller the rug, the bigger the space feels. The bigger the rug, the smaller, more cozier the space feels. Granted, if it's to scale, it makes more sense. So, this is what I'm talking about, rugs to scale. For example, I uh, just switched out my space for a from a larger rug, it was like a 12 by 14 rug, to a now 8 by 10 rug. And when my daughter came in, she was like, wow, the space looks much bigger. And it's like, yeah, because you know, the rug is smaller. So to her, it may not have made sense why it felt that way, but you know now that I've shared with you why your space feels bigger or smaller because you switch out the rug and when you move your rug out or you make a bigger rug a place a bigger rug in the space it does pull all your of, of the furniture back or draws your eye to being around the room and so it just kind of feels like you know your space is together so change out your rug and not even just for space wise change it out for um, color change it out for texture change it out because you want to change up your space the vibe change it out for plushness change it out because it's Tuesday change it out and that will definitely change how your space is I find that some people struggle with this one. Uh, change out your accessories. That will ultimately lead you to declutter your space. When you change out your accessories, you're getting rid of a whole bunch of stuff that you probably didn't care was in there anyway. Also, we find that the things that we have in our space, yes, they matter, but they don't seem to be that big of a deal your whole life as far as putting them on display because you can change them out, it's interchangeable. So when you have accessories, uh, you can bring it out. When the family comes or friends come over, if, it's, if you really want to display certain items, if you must display them, but trust me, if you remove all of the items off of your bookshelves or your surfaces or wherever in your space, you remove those items, grab yourself some newer accessories, you can go to dollar stores, you can go to thrift shops, if you're looking on the cheap end, you can go to yard sale, you can surprise what you find. And then bring those items in your space, see how different your space looks. And you might be surprisingly pleased. 
So switch out your accessories and see how that makes you feel. That is a cheap way to change up your space. Rearrange your furniture. See how you feel about changing up the way you have been placing your furniture. But wait, it only works one way, or it only, my room is the awkward space, or, yeah, that's all fine and well. But if you're looking just for a different feel, it's okay to completely change your furniture in a way that doesn't make sense. You can do it for a month, you can do it for a year, you can do it just for the season. Enjoy the space the way you want to enjoy the space. Be awkward, be unique, do it differently. You do not have to have your space in a way that makes sense to anyone. If it's comfortable, it doesn't make you crazy, if you can relax in it, change it up. Right now, where I'm sitting, my television is straight across from me. But I've had my television on this wall, I've had it on in the corner over here, I've even had it in the corner over there. So that meant my sofa needed to change and go elsewhere. My chairs changed and went elsewhere. So it doesn't matter if it pleases you. Switch it up, change it up. You know, be good to your floors as you do change up your furniture. But see what it feels like just to switch up how you rearrange your furniture or remove a piece or two. You know, there are some of us have too many pieces in our space. So take out a piece. Take out a recliner, take out an, a, a, a console table or, or your side tables. Take some stuff out. See what you get. And you will probably surprise yourself on how well that space works. You can always bring that piece back. I'm not saying get rid of it. Put it in a garage of storage. Tuck it in the closet. You know, put it in a corner somewhere. Try it out. See what you get. Let me know in the comments if you do this. Come back here to this video and let me know how that works for you. Okay. Cool. Couch covers. Can I say? I just did a video. I switched out my couch covers uh, on my chair. It's so funny because my husband was like, oh yeah, I forgot what those chairs look like. But the thing about these couch covers, they weren't like, you know how back in the day couch covers kind of seemed like fitted sheets or not fitted sheets, but flat sheets, and you just toss them over and tuck them in here and there. Well, these were elastic, and it was for the specific type of chair that I had. So it worked perfectly, and I wanted to have more of a monochromatic scheme. So what I did was uh, I went with more of a, a beige look, and so I had like a beige color um, couch covers. And now I don't. So I'm not talking about this couch, I'm talking about some chairs that are over here. So those are now back to their original dark gray color. And no one could tell because it fit perfectly for that space. Couch covers, they make them differently, whatever kind of sofa you have, try it out, whatever kind of chairs you have, try it out. Then you have to do the whole sofa, you can actually change out your accent chairs. So, or Bonus pillows, throw pillows, change out your throw pillows or pillow covers. Because every time I go on Amazon to find throw pillows, they always want to sell me just the covers. I, I, I'm so over it. Comment if you're so over searching for throw pillows on Amazon and they just want to give you covers and not the whole pillow. Give me the whole pillow, not the covers. But I digress because I'm getting in my favorite so Change it out with the covers or not. So that is all that I have for you today. Um, I hope you were able to endure the rain because it just showered really hard. So I'm not sure if y'all could hear that or not. I am working on the sound. Thank you all who are doing some kind of, about, kind of way about me and the sound. So. Um, hopefully, you're hearing me better. Hopefully, the music is lower. My voice is more audible. I promise when I record and I replay it, it sounds completely different. And then when it gets uploaded, it's just like, did you already try it? So, hopefully today it serves you well. Thank you for watching. And remember, you are great. 
so we can.